You're <clears throat> bored. Make this conversation less boring. Go ahead. Uh, I'm waiting. How often do you think about the Roman Empire, Brian? That is that your best effort? Sure. In any case, you're not particularly adding to the conversation. You've been disrespectful this entire time. You're entitled, you're rude, you have TikTok brain, you cannot stay focused. We've only been live for an hour and a half or so. I'm gonna ask you to leave. Okay. So get up, get the fuck out. The book on your dead ass podcast, though. On my dead ass podcast, bitch, you fucking do OnlyFans, you fucking degenerate. <laughs> Good, they're all gone. Oh, his little voice was stuttering when he tried to be a man. <laughs> who, who, who are these guys? And now, didn't we do a clip of one of theirs before? Yeah, the other. They were talking about it's you're not allowed to divorce even if you're getting beat or cheated on. Correct. Well, if the cycle, do, if the cycle doesn't stop, Mickey. So like, it can go a few times, but if the cycle doesn't stop, then, then maybe then you can. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, but huh. first you gotta talk to the Lord. And your priest. Uh. And it has to become a cycle. Well, in fairness, first you got to let your jaw heal, <laughs> then talk to the Lord <laughs> right. and your priest. So funny. Yeah, so what's what's the deal with these guys? We like them. Mm. I don't. You dislike them. I Yeah. I, I think when you use the argument for religion, for anything, and if someone else doesn't subscribe, what are you doing? What game are you playing? You can't do that. Unless we g agree on the foundation, right? then you can't call me a degenerate because I don't subscribe to your religion. Now, if we're both supposed to be Catholic and I'm behaving in a way that it's hypocritical, then I think it's fair game. But when you're coming at someone from like a religious standpoint and a more like a moral authority, it's like based off of what? Yeah. Well, excuse me uh, to the whatever pod. I'm not very familiar with them. I see it seems like they have in the just like the couple clips we've had, they have like OnlyFans chicks mm -hmm. on and then kind of like dunk on them. Yeah, just kind of like. Uh, try and intellectually yeah. like dominate them. Mm -hmm. Is that pr is that pretty much the yeah the, the quote unquote basis? the quote unquote red pill community is really kind of like diverging into two secular groups. One of them is you know the Jocko Willinks of the world. You know this this betterment community. This you know this idea. I fuck with that. I vibe with that. Sure, and even that could get extreme with the Gogginses and that you know every sure. minute of every day has to be dedicated to improvement and you know hell yeah and, brother yeah. And Start doing push-ups right now. <laughs> I need a pull-up bar. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the other way <laughs> is uh, this idea, really, they can dress it any way they want to dress it. it. People are just getting off on dudes yelling at women. Yeah. And that's the, uh, that's the bottom mm. line. They can, mm. they can say Kinda it's... Kind of like women hating. It's yeah. women hating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and as a guy who hates women, I find it fucking distasteful. Okay. Even you. <laughs> Even me. Well, because. Even you. Look well, at you. Well, because, man, you know what it is more than anything else? Is it's unprofessional and it's fucking hack. All right. And. Gotcha. Yeah, you yeah. know, the whatever guys, the fresh and fit guys, they, they get these women on. All right. They're, they're casting them. This is Jerry Springer. Right. This is just a, the de evolution of what we're doing into. You know, this is the new reality show, and then this is like the salacious reality type. You know, they, this is the new Maury Povich. And they're telling these girls, you're a whore, and nobody's going to tell you you're a whore because you're hot. And they're t for, for their audience, they're taking the power back mm -hmm. from these hot chicks who are like, you can't afford me, blah, blah. It's just, it's disgusting people shitting on disgusting people and then getting high fives for it. But then, meanwhile, we, one of the dudes rolls up in our comments. Because he doesn't like what we said in our clip. And, and that was like, one of the whatever bros? Yeah. yeah. So what's he? Uh, what's his name? Ryan something? Whatever. Oh, yeah. And I remember he was he was like, this clip doesn't do me, do it justice or something. Yeah. And it seemed like we had a pretty significant part of the clip. Right. And um, I watched the whole unedited thing. It's not better. Yeah. And I Yeah. I invited him on. And he uh he No, declined. I've said this already. Oh, okay. So you like talking to 19-year-old women who are on your show for free, by the way, mm -hmm. then disrespecting them because why? They're not giving you what? what? You're, you're adding nothing to this conversation? Bitch, you're not paying me. What, what am I getting out of this? Right. right? So like, what if we invite somebody on and the entire thing is either agree with me or I get mad at you, mm -hmm. what, what happened here? Also, and here's the truth of it. And this is just, and I, they're, they're, they're guys come after me all the time. They call me a simp, a white knight. I've been called a fucking liberal. I've been called a snowflake. <laughs> he I've was been the most mad about liberal. <laughs> By far. How dare they? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell? They call me woke. I was like, all right, we need to have a timeout. This yeah. is timeout. You know, and then we, yeah, you're you, laughing at all the other ones. Yeah. And you hear that, and you're like, not funny. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, go back to the fat jokes. Nah, what the fuck? 
<laughs> the uh, but then, do you in a million years think that they would talk to us like that? In a million fucking years. Uh, no, and I'm pretty sure that's what Candace said in the in the comments. Mm-hmm. In a he million like, he, he, years. When he declined, I was like, "Hey, bro, if you want to come on the pod and talk about it, you're welcome." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Thanks, but I, you know, blah blah." Thanks, blah. but I I'm a it. bitch. Yes, and then Candace like, "Yeah, no, he would never say those things." That in front guy of me and, and Gerard. Then, and the yeah. way he escalated at the end after he realized she was going to leave, where he's like, "That's right," and you get the fuck out. Yeah, and then you guys can <laughs> leave too. And it was like, "All right, bro, if that happened, I would literally leave." And pull a fucking Chaz and lock the door and be like, now we're fucking talking until I'm done talking. Well, now they're never going to come on the podcast. No. We, we should have a little bit of discord. If you're going to, it, we, I promise you this, we will show we them the respect you. that they do not show. I can promise you that. You can, you can, and, and the thing is, I agree with them more than I disagree with them. It's what they're doing and how they're doing it I find so You agree with them more than you disagree what with you, them. What, more than so I disagree what, what do you agree with that I, you've seen? I agree with the way that, and this maybe is more for like the fresh and this is, but this is a whole community that's growing mm-hmm. the fresh and fit, the Adam 22, the fucking uh, other people I won't give clout to. Uh, you know, but they, Adam 22 is super pro sex worker. No, 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 but it's, it's the idea of saying salacious shit okay. in a disrespectful manner. Mm. You know, that is, you know, it, it's kind of this gotcha thing because if you're in, the, in that position, I know I'm going to get a fucking money clip out of this. I've already got you. Either you're going to get upset and I'm going to remain calm and you're going to look like an asshole. Or you're going to sit there and say nothing and now I've owned you. You look like an asshole. You get up and leave. You look like an asshole. Mm-hmm. I've set this up so that, man, I, well, look at this money clip. How many views does that have? Probably you know, And what he was was a disrespectful fucking bitch. Mm-hmm. That's not how you do this. Mm-mm. You don't, hey, agree. You're, you're not giving me what I want. So now leave. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe the uh, maybe the onus was on you to get them engaged, to get them incorporated. Yeah. Be a good interviewer, if you want to call host, that a conversation yeah. list. Like, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. people involved. And was she a brat? Sure. What do you what do you think about the Roman Empire? And I've talked about this. We've done this on Slick and Thick, and it didn't go so well with some other guests. Where I'm like, we don't always have to go to to, to the lowest shit. We can. You're smart. You should try to be smart, and it didn't always go well, right? But it's like. I didn't sit there and go like, if you're gonna keep being dumb and talking about sex, you got to get the fuck up and leave. Yeah. Because like, who who would do something? like I that? I think he's doing it to get a clip like this to be featured on Cancelled Weekly or something like. You know what I mean? Like he's trying to make he's trying to make like a viral, uh, you know, argument moment. Or like, oh shit, he kicked so, her out. You know what I mean? It's, I it's agree. a little contrived, if you ask uh, me. I think it's a little contrived. It's it's like, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna disrespect them. And I'm gonna get a bunch of views on that shit. I agree. Then do it. Punch at your own fucking weight class. Don't punch down. Don't bring on young women who don't bring on a 19 year old who's already don't fancy fucking themselves an intellectual. Correct. Or, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. If you gonna... well, the one time they did that is when they got owned by the internet. Was when they had Destiny? Destiny's now, I guess, ex wife on. Well, they just ran and they and they just did fucking victory laps about that online for for the that marriage breaking up. Yeah, but know? how many? It's almost fifty percent due, and then if you're married a second time, I think it jumps up to seventy percent. So like, we can sit there and pretend that their marriage fell apart because they had an abnormal arrangement. That's nonsense. How many relationships that are quote monogamous? end in divorce it's almost half so we cannot pretend that it's because they were uh, wait, wait. I, I, I gotta push back on that though because those numbers are skewed because the same people keep getting divorced over and over so it's not really 50 percent. what do you mean so the um that that's like one of those numbers that like has been said so much that everybody just believes it to be true it's like 40 something but it's the same people getting divorced so like people have five or six wives or like they'll get married no, three they, or four they times. No, they can account for that because second marriage is at 70%. So yeah, that's so, accounting for the remarriage. But they're taking all marriages together is what I'm saying. And mm-hmm. they're and they're just like dividing by the amount of people. It's just a little bit of it, – it's la- it, it, it's not a significant thing. It's But it's like – it's not 50-50. It's closer to like 39-61 or something like that. If you count the people who have been married and divorced multiple times. Okay. Well, 39 is still – Sure. If you're going to walk out this door and 39% chance you are going to get hit by a car, you're going to wait till tomorrow? No, it's true. But if I had 39% chance of hitting the lottery, I'd play it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so, a, that's a good odd. It's it's so interesting. Somebody that's married is like, it's like getting hit by a car. Somebody that's not married is like, it's like winning the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. All I'm saying is this, right? If you're a fighter, if you saw that somebody was beating the shit out of like a 15-year-old kid 
and being like, come on, punch back, punch back. All you would want to do is hit the guy who was hitting the kid, right? Yeah, try that on me. You're so tough. Fight a fighter. Yeah. All I'm saying with these guys is video after video. Rolo Tomasi, fucking Fresh and Fit, fucking the whatever podcast, the the Red Pill, the Manosphere. Clip after clip they're, after they're, clip. They're they're they're, they're, the they're fighting man. tomato cans. They're the man. Yeah. They're fighting tomato cans. Come they're on, arguing. Jake. They're they're doing Discord and Jake, Jake debate. Paul, come on in. Let's have a conversation, Jake. There's a woman here, bullier. Yeah. Bullier. Jake yeah. bullies girls. No, I'm I'm calling uh, him Jake Paul. But I guess Jake Paul. To me, Jake, Jake Paul fights real Jake fighters. Jake Paul. Jake Paul fighting. Oh, you know what? That's like such a Nickelback thing of me to do. I like yeah. Jake Paul. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. I, I am so sorry. Don't Jake Paul. disrespect Jake Paul. <laughs> I am sorry. 